My name is Dan Jackson. I'm a private eye, a gumshoe. This is my office, or at least it is three days of the week. I split the rent so Tuesdays and Thursdays it's headquarters to the most lucrative pyramid scheme this side of the Hudson River. But that ain't none of my business. My business is the business of detecting, or at least it is when I have a customer. It had been a week and a half since my last case, and that was just a missing cat case so the paycheck was running out quick. I was indulging in a well-drawn and brilliantly written funny book when suddenly a dame walked in. You hear about the pyramid scam? Because I ain't got nothing to do with that doll. Well, what are you reading? Forget about it, lady. It's Chinatown. I'm here to see Dan Jackson. Are you him? That depends on who you are. I'm Lucy Willows. I was wondering if you could help me. Help don't come cheap. Money don't come easy. How hard are we talking? Diamonds. Diamonds can be rough. Rough can be fun. Fun can be dangerous. Danger is my middle name. Funny, I would have guessed your middle name was Mackerel because there's something fishy about you, Dame. Fish gotta swim and birds gotta eat. And birds of a feather flock together. Then maybe I'm here to do some flocking. Maybe you're the cat and I'm the canary. Curiosity killed the cat. And today is a good day to die. I'd completely forgotten what we were talking about. So what can I do for you? Well, I got a leaky roof you could probably fix, but that's besides the point. The issue is, I got a rat problem. Funny, when I walked in here this morning, I didn't see the word exterminator on my door. What I mean is a squealer. Funny, I don't remember the door saying nothing about no bacon factory either. I mean, I'm dealing with a squawker. Funny. I don't remember Dan's parrot shop being on the- Will you quit already and let me talk? Look, someone's been leaking information that they shouldn't know. And you don't trust the crooked coppers in this town, so you turn to a slightly less crooked PI to protect you. It's not me that needs protecting. It's my sister and nephew. So why ain't they you? That's the thing. As soon as they hit the streets, they're target practice. The father's hanging on by strings at St. Theodore's. Any idea why it's open season all of a sudden? Absolutely not. You suppose I could pay your sister and her son a visit so I could do some shucking and get to the cob of this corn? I guess that's my only option, even if you are a lousy drunk. Hey, as of four months ago, I'm an ex-drunk. Haven't found a support program for the lousy part yet, though. Question is, why should I take a case like this? If you take the case, I'll give you enough cash to rent this place four days a week. My father owns a factory that prints going out of business signs. And with that kind of dough, why would you hire a louse like me? Everyone knows the PD is in Boss Martoni's pocket. You're all we've got. I'll see what I can do. Here's my number. Call it if you need anything. And I mean anything. And there I stood at a crossroads. Should I take a screwy case trying to save a family marked by the most dangerous mobster around? Or do I put my hide on the line just because I have enough morals left not to let this innocent family get turned into Swiss cheese? But ethics was only at the back of my mind. In the front of my mind and glorious technicolor was that dame. Her golden hair, her ice blue eyes, curves like a wine glass and rich red lips like the wine inside that glass. And we're not talking cheap wine, neither. We're talking the good stuff that Louie cracks open at Christmas Eve on Mulligan's. I should stop by Mulligan's. I mean, it's not like I have to get anything to drink, right? I'll just ask Louie how it's going and catch up with the guys. And I mean, if someone offers me a drink, I can't say no, can I? It'd be rude. I mean, I won't drink the thing, maybe just sip it a little. You know, so I don't offend it's anyone. A PI. Can and I if someone in? orders shots all around, what's the harm in having just a shot? No thanks, I'm Maybe not I'll just thirsty. Stay away from the bar. No, no, no. My just name's play Margaret. a game of darts. Would of course, like Lily usually has Martha bring Vikings over a free drink night. to whoever's oh, winning thanks. at darts. I got it on sale. Would but, you like to come I mean, in? I'm not I can't that hear you. Good. I barely win more than half Shut the time. Shut up! Would you like to come in? Sure. You know my dad. Oh, Mr. Jackson, this is my son, Henry. Our dog died last year. 
Now, Henry, be nice. This kind man is here to help us. I want some celery and peanut butter. Not now, Henry. This kind man and I need to talk. Whatever. So your sister was under the impression that someone was saying information they weren't supposed to. We don't know anything, but if we did, we wouldn't tell anyone. Well, it can't be too personal. If they haven't hit you here, then they don't know where you live, and therefore they don't know you too well. Do you have any idea at all who might be after you? Well, I think it might be Boss Ma Tony. And what makes you say that? Well, after my husband was shot, his assailant yelled, That's from Ma Tony, you dirty slime ball. I see. So what do you think provoked this attack? Nothing. I'm just a housewife, and my husband is a door-to-door -door seafood salesman. We never done anything to provoke anyone. And little Henry here? Leave me alone. Oh, he's a good boy. Damn straight. Now, Henry, this is very important. Are there any teachers or classmates you may have had a little fight with around the time your father was shot? No, go away. Are you sure? Not even a little fight? Well, there was that guy with the suit that I beat up real good on the sidewalk. What guy? I don't know, some Italian guy. He was looking at me real funny, okay? Well, there's your answer. Oh dear, he's just a little boy. He doesn't know any better. You gotta get him to call off the hit. Oh, I'll put a stop to this. My name isn't Jack Daniels. I mean, Dan Jackson. My sources on the street told me where Martoni's hideout was. The only problem now was getting a chance to talk to Martoni without adding some lead to my diet. It was just me out in the dark, lonely alley with not a single breathing soul around. The South will rise again! With the exception of Eddie, the rollerblading Civil War reenactor. Who is it? Just a down on his luck gumshoe trying to make an honest living. I'm here to talk to your boss. By boss, do you mean proprietor of our company or the one who gives me direct orders? Because contrary to popular belief, our business model is actually much more complex than most would assume it to be. Just take me to Martoni. What makes you so sure that Martoni wants to see you? Well, I'm sure Martoni knows what to do with an unwanted guest. All right, it's your funeral. Hey, Jackson, it's a Dan of Jackson. It ain't Lawrence of Arabia. How in the hell are you? The guys didn't tell me you were here. Excuse my ignorance on the matter, but don't most mob bosses have some disdain for us law enforcer types? Not to you. You're a Dana Jackson. Ever since you broke up the big opium ring in downtown, my heroin, my candy of our sales have been through the roof. Business has never been a better, and it's all a thanks out to you. I didn't realize I was so useful. Are you are my hero. Anything you want, you got it. Are you hungry? Do you want a cannoli? You look like a cannoli kind of guy. If you want a cannoli, I can have the guy get you a cannoli. And if you don't want a cannoli, then you don't have to have a cannoli. Thanks, but no thanks. I came here to get you to stop hunting down a certain little housewife and her overgrown pride and joy. Oh no, uh, are they friends of yours? Close enough. Hey, uh, anything you want, to, uh, you got it. You want me to call up a hit? It's off. You want me to a whack of somebody? They're gone. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. A beautiful friendship. Hey, let's uh, celebrate. How about the drink? No, no. You know I'm off the stuff. Everyone heard about me getting kicked off the squad a few months ago after the incident. I've been sober four months, and I ain't going back. Do it or I'll f***ing kill you. <laughs>